Hey, what is up you guys? So if you were here, you've finally taken your first step to getting out of Silver in Rainbow Six Siege. I know we've all had this issue where we're letting down our whole team. And there's nothing you can do about it. You just keep getting killed and you're like, Dad! St I mean, teammates, I'm trying my hardest. Stop calling me a disappointment. But your father just, I mean, teammates don't care. And they just shit on your whole life because you can't get a kill in Rainbow Six Siege and all you've ever wanted is just to win around and you can't and your family hate I mean teammates hate you that never happened to you yeah that, that's dumb that never happened to me either <laughs> uh let's get this interest started please Alrighty fellas, here we are. As you can see, I am gold, so that means I am out of silver. I know how to get out of silver. And if you want to get in gold, then just watch this video, my people. I got that 1.1 win-loss ratio and 1.2 kill-death ratio. I actually deranked myself all the way to copper just for you guys. I am normally actually a platinum 2 player, so not too great, but definitely a lot better than gold. So I think I know what I'm talking about. So I'm showing you I'm a first-hand example of how it is possible to get out of bronze and silver just by yourself. You don't need no team, fellas. You can do it on your own. Obviously, teammates do help, but it's possible to do it on your own. You got it. You got it. So how this is going to go is I'm going to throw up some gameplay. I'm going to give you all some music. And I'm going to go start explaining you some tips on how you are going to get out of silver. Starting now. My first tip for you, little nooblings, is that you're gonna wanna run the ACOG scope. This is a little intimidating for beginners because it's a very hard scope to control, but once you learn how to use it, your aim will improve drastically and you'll find yourself getting headshots left and right. My next tip is you're going to want to start jiggle peeking. A jiggle peek is when you go in and out of cover very quickly. This gives you a point of view on the enemy and it makes you a very hard target to hit. My next tip is hold the tightest angles possible, not through one doorway, but through multiple doorways. If you look at the screen, you'll see a good example of this. It just makes it so you're not very visible to the enemy, but you can have a good view on their head. My next tip is when you die, stay calm and give your teammates some good callouts. On the clip above, my teammate died, it was 1v1, he gave me a call out exactly where the enemy was, how much health he had, and look, I won the round, got that last kill. My next tip is going to be burst fire at long range. It makes it a lot easier to get those headshots and you're not going to have to control your recoil on such a small target. Next, learn how to control your recoil. Go into a single player match, shoot a wall, try to get your bullets going in the same spot over and over and over again. Get that practice. Watch how I kill Twitch. I keep my sight on her the whole time, control my recoil, and finish her off. Alrighty, so now that I showed you all the basic tips, um, I'm going to show you how to practice these. Alrighty, so this one's pretty simple. Just go, look at the wall, shoot it, hold down. Alright, as you can see, Maverick's gun goes up and a little bit to the right. So when you practice, you want to go down and a little bit to the left. See how I control my recoil? Just do that over and over and over again. Alright. And you'll just you'll keep improving it. And that is how you learn how to control your recoil. Alrighty, to practice pretty much everything else, you're going to want to go into a terrorist hunt game. Lone Wolf. I'm going to head in here with an ACOG scope. you see that. Hello, motherfucker. And then, oh shit. Alright, well that, that was, was that. Alright, watch this. Jiggle peeks. Nobody. Jiggle 
Here go peeks. There you go. Keep practicing. Just shoot with Agog Scoop. Aim for heads. Boom. Practice your jiggle peeks. Practice with Agog Scoop. Aim for heads. Only heads, fellas. Boom. No one's in here. Keep it going. There we go. And just keep it going. Honestly, I'm just gonna pretty much play this through. Watch how I practice. And I got five health now, so I can't get shot once. Learn how to control your recoil. Boom, headshot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun, like, it's not that bad. So for communication, you can't really practice that anywhere but in-game. Like, when you die, you have to stop being salty you died. Because I guarantee, if you win that round, or your teammates clutch it up, you'll be a lot happier than if you didn't say anything and you end up losing. So, when you do communicate and you get killed, tell your teammates where your enemy killed you, who the operator your enemy was, and then finally, once the kill cam comes up, tell them how much health they have so they have the confidence to either push in or play a little bit conservative.